Hello traders, this is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. This is the uh, afternoon look at the scans for the uh, market leading stocks and that's going to be for this coming session Monday, March 25th, 2013. Right now in the major major NASDAQ names we're, we're, we're kind of paired off between uh, between buys and sells. Uh, we do have some, some strength and some weakness depending on what you're looking at. Uh, Apple, we've got a CPS uh, buy signal. We played that um, long for a you know, decent, decent scalp today. Uh, and rode that up, uh, so definitely going to keep an eye on that for uh, some potential follow through next week. A uh, couple of volume bumps, volume still up in Adobe. That one's strong today, 1.6% above the open. First solar uh, is weak with a with a CPS downside uh, signal, uh, down one and a half percent below the open, but it's on it's on light volume. And the other thing that's really sticking out uh, is uh, the BlackBerry. BlackBerry is trading uh, very very good volume. And it's about 6.5% uh, below the VWAP. You can see the red highlighted number. Uh, so really, really big move. This is almost 10% below the open. We actually, well, I actually saw this uh, this pattern, you know, shaping up this afternoon. And we uh, called it short for our subscribers via the messenger under uh, $16.10 this afternoon. And are uh, currently very, very nicely into money and in, nicely into money in that. So we're going to keep an eye on that for next week as well. We've got kind of a an outside candle down if you open up the daily chart. Uh, which is a retest of the prior high that came up short of that, so that's definitely an interesting little spot. Uh, strength in Sina today, um, but it's on only okay volume. Uh, very, very strongly above today's open. And they're hitting BlackBerry again, very nice. Uh, as far as the uh, financials go, uh, not really seeing too much here. Uh, Wells Fargo is conflicted with the buy and the sell signal. that These usually take care of themselves before the close. Uh, Visa is trading pretty good volume, but uh, really not seeing too much out there. Bank of America is weak today, 1% below the open, as you can see, but it, do, it is sporting right now a differential buy. So that might be worth taking a, taking a peek at on Monday. As far as the uh, the energy names go, um, not really too much interesting. BP uh, is uh, below the open, but that's really mostly driven by the overseas trade. Uh, can be tricky to trade. CHK, uh, Chesapeake is fairly weak, 1% uh, below the the VWAP being about two and a half percent below the open, uh, so I want to keep an eye on that on Monday. Put that on the margin. Light volume again, unfortunately there. As far as the generals go, we're a little bit to the sell side, uh, but you know it depends on 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 the patch. Uh, Hewlett Packard uh, is definitely one that had my eye this morning. Didn't really see a clean setup uh, that I could get onto, but we're uh, one and a half percent above the VWAP and uh, three and a half percent above the open. So I want to keep that on the uh, the radar for Monday as well. The housing patch, not really seeing too much. A couple of buys here, differential buy in home in um, in DHI and um, a CPS upside signal in HD, but the HD is kind of a narrow range day. It's only a quarter of a percent below the uh, above the open. Transport stocks still on, still in play. A lot of the shippers are trading some good volume. FedEx is still you know working working on uh, working off that quarter, still trading pretty good volume. That's the FDX. Uh, UNP has got a um, Chemical sell signal, so I'm gonna have that on the uh, on the list for Monday as well to keep an eye on. And the uh, commodity names are really just fairly fairly muted. We do have a CPS uh, downside signal in uh, in Freeport FCX. It's about one percent below the uh, below the uh, b below the open, but it's on uh, very very light volume. Uh, so looking for a pattern to shape up there. All right, folks, that's gonna be it for today and this week. As always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich Derek for TradeSite.